Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls. Now I have been reading your past comments and what they stated is that there is actually an illusory wall somewhere in here and <laughs> would you know it there's actually a message here telling me that there is an illusory wall so I will try it out. And there we are. Wow that was actually very well hidden. I had no idea the last time I was here. So thank you for leaving those comments and Surely I can get by this. Oh, I can talk to him. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, dear. What have we here? Are you a new servant? How do you answer? Oh, okay. We'll say yes. But you have no eggs. Ha, no matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. Oh, okay. No, we don't have any eggs. I'm sorry. I didn't stop by the market on the way here. That was not my intention, at least. And, oh my goodness, what is that? Surely it's nothing aggressive, because there's a bonfire right there, so... Let's just go and... Oh, I know, I didn't want to rest here. Damn it! No, I was planning to homeward bone out of here, so that I wouldn't have to spend all the time in Blight Town. Oh, no. Okay, well, it's another one of these ladies, and so we're going to speak to her. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. She can reinforce our Estus flask. We don't have a firekeeper soul, unfortunately, but she has a covenant. Let's just talk to her again, and she has nothing to say. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Okay, well, let's enter her covenant, as I believe this gives me a very good pyro spell, as what was stated in the comments section. So, yes, we're going to join. We need better pyro spells. I only have the fireball. Oh my goodness. Okay, great chaos fireball. That is definitely going to come in handy. And I suppose offering humanity gives us a deeper understanding of the covenant. But I don't have any humanity that I want to spend, really, do I? Do I really want to spend humanity? Not really. Okay. But anyway, so let's attune our magic and there's a great chaos fireball there so I'm going to remove this fireball why can't I use it no what's going on here wait a minute let's take a look aha oh I see it uses both slots okay never mind I got it I got it mmm I'm not sure whether I actually want that to remove my heal spell okay I'll tell you what next few levels I'm going to increase my attunement a little bit as I believe that increases the amount of slots I have and then I'll be able to use the chaos fireball and that will be amazing so let's head on is this another illusory wall it isn't oh <laughs> Who would have thought it? I mean, come on. It looks rather obvious, but there we are. That's Dark Souls for you. The obvious is not necessarily the right path. Okay, so there we are. We've learnt a very nice spell, and now... Are you prepared to dedicate yourself to our fair lady? Then I will make available whatever you require. If you need something, ask me first. Oh, okay, so what does he sell? Check Servants of the Daughters of Chaos. Servant roster. <laughs> 500 souls for that. No, I'm not really wanting to do that. Oh, you, you can actually upgrade your Pyromancy Flame, which I've already done to plus 5. But I believe that only increases the melee damage with it? No. No, it increases the fire damage by plus 2. Oh no, that's just the strike. Hmm, yeah, I was correct. Okay, well, I'm not going to do any more of that, I don't think, unless I have the spare souls, which I don't. And I've just noticed there's a message over there that someone's just written, so let's just check it out. Dead end. Oh yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, there we are. We've gotten a very nice spell. Thank you very much for that. Now, I will head out of Blight Town, and I think it's about time we went and got that poise ring that you told me about I think it was 
10 episodes ago. <laughs> so I'm finally getting around to getting that ring and hopefully it will be very useful for something I have in mind. I believe that... I think it's a Hydra or something shooting those water bolts at us in the dark water basin. Not the one where I had to climb down the tree and died five times, but the other one that is in Dark Root Basin, and yes, so and speaking of that tree, I took about half an hour trying to get up that tree, I died four times or something, but we won't count those because it wasn't on camera. <laughs> no, well I wasn't necessarily recording obviously because you've seen that content before, but anyway, it wasn't very funny as I rage quit a few times. And I just had to go back to it to get out of there. So, yeah, that was a very fun <laughs> experience. Okay, so I'll make my way out of Light Town, and when we make it to Dark Root Basin, I will cut back. Okay, so here we are in Dark Root Garden, not Basin just yet. And as you can see, I'm being attacked by a tree, but there is. An item over there that I always wondered how to get and one of you told me in the comments a long time ago and so now we are going to attempt to get it if I could stop being <laughs> ambushed by these trees no but I do like how they drop purple moss clumps because they cure poison and that was very prevalent in blight town as you no doubt could see and know and also, I wonder how to get past this. I believe you need a key. I'm not too sure what kind of key. Yes, yeah, not by some contraption. Hmm. Well, hopefully I'll find out in the future. Or if one of you know, then please feel free to leave it in the comments. Now, I am going to be attacked by these three, aren't I? Yeah. And there we go. I learnt to use the strong attack, everyone. <laughs> now, if only I could find my bearings. Ah, here we are. Okay, so I killed them all. Okay, good. Phew. So now, one of you said... There is a shiny over there that I wouldn't mind getting, actually. But there is a fake tree somewhere around here. Now, this looks like a fake tree, doesn't it? Or is it... No, it's not that one. Yeah, this is definitely it. Okay. Oh, I actually have to attack it. Okay. More than once, I meant. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So, now what does that do? Oh, okay, a secret path. Now, I'm not sure whether I want to go and get that first, or whether I want to go over there and get that. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, let's go and get this shiny first. Oh, he's not attackable yet. No. Ow. Ow. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh my. Yeah, okay. You're not too difficult now, are you? Yeah. Says he, who just took 60% damage. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, I just have to be careful not to wake multiples of that particular enemy. Ah, here we are. Okay, I'm going to edge very slowly towards them. Come on. Do they wake up together no matter what you do? Perhaps not. There is a tree though. Two trees and a giant. Okay, not too bad actually. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Take that. Ouch. Long range. No. Okay, just gotta take out these trees first, and then I can start to... Ow, okay. Phew, I thought I got hit there. And I can start to attack these guys. And there we go, he's down. Nice. Now, let's loot this guy. Nice. I can always use more moss. Now, there is one more giant, and I believe probably some trees popping up here, maybe. Or not? Okay. Nice. Elite Knight armor. Yeah. Now, I would love to use that, considering I think it has poise. And goodness knows I am lacking in poise. Okay, there we go. 
We got away, and only having to fight one of the giants. Good. So, let's go down the hidden path, and eventually get whatever item that is.